Hey everyone, so Iron Souls just launched its latest SDK which is 760 and in this video we are going to learn how you can integrate them in Unity version 2021. In 2021 like this version of Unity uses uh, Java 8. So so first thing you have to do is delete any uh, previous version of uh, Iron Source by deleting the dependency resolver and the Iron Source folder itself from over here and after you are done with that uh, just re restart the editor just close it and open it again now the second thing you have to do is download the uh, the link will be in the description by the way download the latest version of SDK iron source now what we will do is we will go into the assets and then we will import package custom package and then we just need to search for uh, iron source integration manager 760 version now select that package and click on open now you can skip the demo script if you want uh, because sometimes they are not updated to the latest SDK and they might give you an annoying error. I like to skip the demo scene. Uh, but if you want, you can. Now let's import everything. Um, so I'll just click on import. Our Iron Source SDK is being integrated. You can see the Iron Source folder and the mobile dependency resolver. So the next thing we have to do is go to the Ads Mediation tab go to integration manager and then over here as you can see it is up the iron source sdk is imported to the latest version now i also want the unity ads so i'll just install that as well now go to assets mobile dependency resolver android resolver and then in the settings uh auto make sure that uh, auto resolution is enabled now just click on ok now let's again go into asset resolver android resolver and hit resolve now resolve not enable android platform must be selected oh yeah we almost forgot uh, go to file uh, build settings and then make sure you have both ios and android uh, even though if you are just going to make for android uh, it is good uh, to have ios as well so that it doesn't give us some extra errors related to ios resolving so just make sure you switch to android now okay so it has been uh, now our platform is has switched and as you can see because we uh, enabled auto resolve it is trying to resolve it but this annoying error uh, which is related to win32 exception now let's solve that let's remove this error first now let's go to edit project settings uh, now over here uh, let's do the iron source part first which is let's follow their tutorial first so let's skip to the step number four okay over here and it says we need to add this line in the main manifest if your app is going to target api level 31 and above so to do that uh, let's click on custom main manifest and now note this path we need to go over there so in the assets uh, we will go into the plugins and then to the android and let's just open this android main manifest okay so over here uh, go down a little bit like this make space for our next code so above application um, just go to that website uh, there is a convenient button to copy it copy this uh, whole code line now just paste it over here control s to save it and you can close this editor window uh, now the next thing is we need to add this one this line of code so again in the project settings inside players publishing settings we will select custom gradle properties template now let's go ahead and open the gradle template now as you can see we have few lines of code by the way uh, if this was your first time uh, codes will look like this so make sure that this android dot enable r8 it is commented out like this and in the additional properties we need to add this line of code so just copy this a uh, link of this page will also be in the description by the way so let's paste that also we need to add two more lines over here so as you can see there is this two lines that we need to copy and let's also paste them over here now because of this r8 i just remembered that i also did one extra thing uh by the way don't forget to save this file and let's close it now one extra thing that i 
forgot to mention uh, is that go to your editor location in my case it was in e drive so inside unity uh, 2018 editor data and then over here i think i have to go in playback engines android player now inside i think the svk uh, once you are over here you need to go into the build tools and in this build tools there is there will be a build tool version now as you can see this dx.jar it was before called as um, d8. Dot bat file bat file so as you can see i've mentioned over here that this if you see this uh, file with this name just rename it to this one as you can see i did that over here also in the library folder which is lib folder uh there were both of them so i just thought to ignore them so let them be like this but if you only see the d8 one uh, just change it to dx but we have both of them here so never mind uh, okay so that is the only extra thing that i did now let's go ahead now to solve the win uh, 32 exception error uh, we had to enable i think uh, custom main gradle template yeah so there it is now inside the custom main gradle template we actually don't need to do anything inside it just by enabling it it might resolve your uh, resolving issue so that's it um so close this also now let's go to asset mobile dependency resolver and let's hit resolve uh or you can just click on force resolve and if nothing happens click on asset and right click and then just hit re-import let's reload the scene again now if we go ahead go to asset mobile dependency resolver and let's do a force resolve and as you can see our resolution is succeeded now let's try to build the app bundle file because obviously if you are adding ads in your game you are definitely going to upload it to a play store so just enter your keys that you have for the play store uh, and then in other settings let me go to the other settings and over here i actually want it to be cpp and then the sdk version uh where it is okay so check the 64 as well uh, and now the minimum api uh, i will actually keep it at 8 and maximum i will keep it at 33 because that is what they are asking currently google play so just keep it over there now let me select a build directory so let me create a new folder builds uh, and inside builds i will just name it one dot app bundle save this and it is going to build our project so the resolution was successful also uh, do note that we haven't made any changes to the uh, default sdk ndk gradle versions uh, because it will work with the default values uh, also make sure that you have uh, proper environment variables enabled say, in your environment tab so hey everyone as you can see my app just got built which is so relieving after a week of uh, trial and error so next let's resolve this same error same issue on the 2022 version of unity now i will recommend everyone to use 2022 version from now on after this video because it is using java 11 okay and also there are some patches to the bugs to stay updated to my latest video subscribe and to support me making more such content leave a like thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye